we can make it if we try just what you you and I. Um, uh oh. Shall we start now? Let's go. Hello, and welcome to the Slapped Up Podcast. Avengers special. Da, 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 da. Da, what da, is Gamora? Da, 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 da. Uh, I'm George. I'm Luca. I'm Sully, aka Thanos's fluffer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all right. That's your best one so far. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Um, Sully, where can we all be found? We can be found on SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes, Acar, Stitcher, and Radio Haver at 8 p.m. GMT, and probably other places where you can find good podcasts. That was like I don't get how he does it yeah. so well. Like, I think, does he rehearse it in the morning? I don't think he does. I think in the just, mirror to himself. Honest, honestly, that oh, one. Shit. That one was. That one was. Did I just? Did I just click? Oh, well, Sully's dead now. It's just me in the yeah. room, guys. <laughs> 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 All right, so like, just first thing we're going to put out there, there's going to be no spoilers for Endgame because we haven't seen it yet. We're oh, recording this true. before Endgame. This is true. Endgame comes out, I think, in a few days at this point. Yes. I've got tickets to see it on the weekend. I'm very excited, but we don't know anything, so don't worry. But we will be talking about every other movie. So, I mean, you better be caught up. Spoilers for The Incredible I mean, this Hulk. Point, if you haven't watched all the other movies. And Lee's Incredible Hulk. <laughs> 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 Fucking Angley. It was on TV the other day. It's so bad. Oh, I, I it might not be bad. bad. It, it might just be different. It might just be you know? a different movie. No, there's a few moments in it that I was like, I remember that as a kid. That was kind of cool. And then the rest of it happens. <laughs> like, oh, no. Okay. Wow. This is bad. And, and then. What's the tiger's name in Life of Pi? Richard Parker! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, what? Have you not seen, <laughs> have you not seen Ang Lee's Life of Pi? No, okay, I know about it, but I I've watched not seen it. it. Richard watched Parker. It in the <laughs> Bloody hell. That was good. Can you kill George <laughs> that, Honestly, like, it's been a while since I've seen that film. But anyway, we're not uh, talking yeah, about yeah. Life of Pi <laughs> bullshit. Or Ang Lee shit. We're, we're talking yeah. about, like, the, basically the MCU Richard and Parker. kind of, they're going to kind of. The Maku. We're excited. Were. I, I'm, I'm pretty say we're all excited for Endgame. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty, I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty, you know. He's, I don't think he is that excited. <laughs> no, about. he's not as excited as me. Me kind and my fucking excited. mates were on, so like at work, I was on it and my mate Taylor, he was also on it, like refreshing the BFI's page the moment the tickets came out, the trying buffet. to get some tickets to go see it. Um, and to the point where the website crashed multiple times because people were trying to get tickets. That's peak fam. Um, That's sick. By the time we got through, we couldn't get like opening night tickets or the next day. But we've got like we got midnight Saturday tickets at the BFI IMAX. The only tickets that had a decent seat though were the premier seats. So we're in the fancy pants seats. Hey. Like, pretty much very close to dead center of oh, the entire screen. Lit. Nice. So I'm Fucking it! I, I can't. I, I can't kind of put forward how excited I am for this. Would you say on a scale of one Ant Man mm. out of three Captain Falcons, Captain Hawkeyes, uh, Captain just killing the how energy? Many, so how many, how many Black yeah. Widows would you give it? How many Black Widows would I give it? Out of one out of three Hawkeyes, I think I would. I, for me personally, I'm not going to speak on behalf of mm. Luca here, but I'm at least five Captain Falcons from Smash Bros. <laughs> at least five. I'd give it... Falco! L- <laughs> Punch! <laughs> I'd give it at least five visions. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> like that's so Raven visions. <laughs> I, I think I'm a seven out of five Coulsons. Oh damn! Oh, that was He's shit, alive. dude. What? No, I'm annoyed. We were what? doing good. Coulson. You... Coulson's shit. Yeah, Coulson's Fuck the off. worst oh, one he could have oh, gone. I love Coulson. Oh, oh, I die in the first Avengers film. <laughs> Does no one watch Agents of Shield here then? <laughs> no, because it's just like oh, it's aging. Absolutely... It's aging Coulson oh. with all like the no. D class superheroes. Let's watch this week show. Fuck that! <laughs> uh... Fucking no Ghost Rider in that shit. There's Ghost Rider in it. Oh yeah, he is in it. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Ghost yeah, Rider's but... in that shit, but it's like D class Ghost Rider. What? Like, if it's I actually did, it's the there you go. Ghost Rider. I want Good. Ghost Rider in a real uh, uh, Marvel movie where he accidentally kills Doctor Strange. 
like in the comics. Wow. You know, I'd like, I'd like to see that. Nerd. I'd like to see that. <laughs> he tells him the penance deck. I'd his like to see true. that moment where Ghost Rider picks up the Punisher and tries to use his move, like, oh, all your regrets are going to come back and kill you. Is that and it doesn't work on the Punisher because, yeah. like, I don't regret anything that I've done. It's That's like, so oh cool. my god, uh, Punisher's sick. I do love the Punisher. I'm sad that we're not going to get any more Punisher. Lol. Yeah, he's lit. But anyway, we're not talking about Disney that. We're talking Plus, about, like, but... really and truly, the movies at this point. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. they're the ones that are affecting Endgame. And, the ones and they're right. the ones that are going to be part of. I mean, how are we kind of attacking this? Are we just going to go straight I'm into Infinity Thunders War? I'm Mark Thunders' butthole. Oh, we're going through it. All right. Right. Cool. Okay. All right. Oh, shit. Right. But whole time is it? I wanted to. I wanted to kind of kick it off with like, what's our favorite uh, MCU films right. thus far? Th this is a hard one to pick because I feel like on the grandest of scales, Infinity War is absolutely fantastic. Oh, yeah. I, I already I know what that. Lucas is, but it's not that. Lucas is Fant Four Stick. Oh, Fant Four Stick is a great movie. Fant Four Stick. What? It's a fantastic Four film with Michael B. Jordan. What? Michael B. Jordan and oh. Miles Teller. I mean, there's half an okay Miles movie there. I'm upset. Miles Teller's never made a good movie apart from I, I Whiplash. I, Whiplash is good. Miles Teller, I'm not the biggest fan of, to be honest. He's kind of there. Well, it, it, he's it, generic it, white dude. I'm upset. He's generic white dude, but he also comes across, and I don't know if it's just me, like a proper dick in real life. Oh, really? Which uh, makes me not like him. I know what you mean. I'm not, I know what you he mean. He has this persona of like, Miles I'm awesome, Teller. and you're like, you're not. And you really irritate me. Wow. I, I don't this know. This sounds why. like you have the problem here. Yeah, like, apparently, yeah. yeah. I mean, he, he doesn't have a problem with me. I have a problem with him. I'm, he doesn't yeah. know I exist. I mean, I'm, <laughs> sure, I'm, I'm sure he's actually really nice, but the few times like, I've seen him do stuff from real life, well, like, oh, he just has this air of kind of overt arrogance to him that makes me kind of not. Well, like him. the reason I, I bring up Fan Four Stick is we've got else? a special guest. <laughs> Oh, it's hello, Mr. Teller. Here goes Miles Teller. Oh, 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 your neck hurts. Sorry, you got you got some whiplash. Oh, that's that was. Much. That, I mean, <laughs> can we just take a second to realize yeah. how bad that was? Yeah. Oh yeah. How was Iraq when you filmed <laughs> War Dogs? Oh my god, <laughs> he's not here, right? That was a joke. No. But um, I do like whiplash though. Yeah. Oh, so your movie. favorite MCU film? My favorite one. Um, oh, it's, pr it's probably. Tight. I know which two it's between. Yeah. Because it's the same with me. Is it the same with you? I think it is, yeah. I'm, say it's that's, Actually, that's I'm scared. I'm scared. It's, I'm scared I'm going to be wrong. But okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm, th I'm three. There's too much tension okay, here. Like... One, one, two, three. Guardians <laughs> of the Galaxy well, no, or say... Thor Ragnarok. Oh, no. I was going to say Winter Soldier or Ragnarok. Ah. That's Winter lame. Soldier is like... I, I love Winter Soldier because it isn't really a superhero movie. It's a, it's a basically a political thriller with some like action scenes. Oh, damn. Yeah. And the the, I, the moment that it kind of like Oh, but Civil War as well. Civil War was fantastic <sighs> and it was a, a fantastic follow-on to that and has some amazing moments. But the little it's a one tiny little insy moment in it that I absolutely love is when fucking Captain America throws his shield at the Winter Soldier when he's chasing him down and he just turns around and catches it. Yeah, it's that fucking thing like, tingles. I get goosebumps from that every time. I absolutely love it. New mechanical. It was also like the first Rousseau Brothers one that they did, and kind of, yeah. I mean, they just stepped in and was kind of like, right, "Hold our beer, we're about to smash this," and smashed it. They did. I guess. What about Joss Whedon and his? Faux, I'm, I'm a huge and his faux feminism. Huge. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say huge Joss Whedon fan. I grew up in his stuff. I love Buffy, Angel. I'm even a fan of Dollhouse. Hardcore fan of uh, Firefly. I enjoyed his movies. I I, I enjoyed um, Avengers One. Avengers Two was a bit. Avengers Two was shit. It was shit. It was just. It is. It's a bad movie. No, I, for Whoa. me, it just feels too. Whoa. Don't it, go that far. It, shit. It, it's Whoa. the same problem with that that I have with um last week we talked about uh, Last Jedi. It feels filler. Yeah. It feels like they did this to that entire movie is basically how do we get vision in the MCU? This is what we're gonna. But do. like you took like the. One of the coolest bad guys, and they were like, "Fucking go!" Yeah, whatever. Ultron. Like the idea of Ultron's really good, and it f <laughs> fucking like, go. It, from what I've heard behind the scenes in it, there was some like what he wants to do, what the studio wants to do, was a bit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking George. Fucking George go. is dead. Um, there was a bit like misaligned with there. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. 
Don't know, George. I didn't know that, and it just kind of. I think he just pulled it and it's making me cry. Oh, oh, he's crying. He's not an Avenger. Oh, really fucking hurt. Fucking Avengers right. training. Pull there. your pull I, your nose hair. While out. while he's pulling out his nose hair. Oh my god, that really hurt. Okay, he pulled Fuck out. Me. My Jesus favorite. Christ, no. Uh, okay. Ouchie. My uh, favorite Marvel film. Oh, the roots out as well. It's probably <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Oh, go down. Wow. I've never done that before. Oh, I can edit this out. Sorry. Okay. No, you don't get to edit it out. This is hilarious. You can't edit this out. Right. Um, oh, my favorite Marvel film, easily Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. It's fantastic. Film. It makes me happy on a level that only yeah. power metal can. Yeah. I mean, it and I fucking oh. love Thor so much. So uh, yeah. Thor was boring the fuck was, as Was that fuck? you? Yeah. I thought that was outside. That like <laughs> fucked me up. So <laughs> Thor was boring as shit before. Oh, that. oh yeah. my god! One, let's not go into this detail. One and two were bad. How shit was... Thor? No, was. so like, I, I legitimately don't mind Thor two. I don't think it's a great film, but I enjoy it. I think the music's really good. I think Brian Tyler did an amazing job mm. in it. Um, I think it's a movie that you don't need to watch because it has no effect on the MCU at all. And yeah, they, that's where they put the little red box. Okay, other than Asgard, other than the post fucking. Wait, yeah, what happens with that red box? Where does it... Oh, he gives it to the... Okay, gives yeah, it to the collector. Yeah, yeah. Other than that one little scene, you don't really need to know. And even then, you don't really yeah, need to Natalie know. Portman. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's fucking... The son of two she's movies. so important to the MCU. <laughs> yeah, she kind of yawns through that movie. Yeah. It's really... Yeah. Well, it's not great. Um, Swan, guys. Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok was like... Easily, piss off ghost. Yeah. Piss, piss off but ghost. I think a lot of that has to do with like... Hey, Taiko T, do your thing, but we're going to give you some fucking budget. Yeah. I think it was great. I think that's the main reason why I like it so much is it's that him. it's the, it's not so much that it's Taiko Waititi, but it's <laughs> more so that they, they kind of gave him the freedom. Yeah. yeah. They're like, yeah, you know, Thor's one of our like core members, but you know what? We trust you. We trust mm. the director to bring like a really good product it's not a cookie cutter marvel movie no it's, it's not. not it's just it's nice it's such a nice refreshing watch yeah and i think it's, it's cool that like you know it, it's almost like a platform like the mcu is a bit of a platform yeah you know, it, oh, let's it have really a, is let's have a doctor strange film let's have all these yeah. kind of like characters so they're established to a point mm. that we can just so we don't have to worry about you know like at the start of ragnarok they go and like Benedict Cumberbatch is like, oh, go through this portal. Yeah, oh, I, this. that entire section was so brilliant. But, yeah, it's like they don't need to worry about. But what oh, if fuck is Doctor you Strange? want to do the movie before you then introduce Aquaman? Because then Aquaman. it's fine. We're not talking about the DC. I'm, can I'm we, not, can I'm we leave DC out of this? Because it's joke saying how bad DC is yeah. compared oh, to that. It makes oh, f- the it movie came out after, me how bad they've done that after Justice League. But I've seen that they're doing something good with DC. Where Joker. They're, Joker. they're not, no, they're just, they're not caring as much now. Oh, yeah. It's which fun. is nice because apparently, yeah, I haven't seen it, but apparently Shazam. Aquaman's really good. It's, yeah. right. it's a fun movie. I haven't seen Shazam. Apparently, that's brilliant. Shazam's really fun. Yeah. I've heard yeah, Shazam, I've like good fun. things about Shazam. Wonder Woman's really good. And, you know, that kind of tied into the Justice League. But, you know, the Joker film that's come in, that so looks that, wicked. So that's completely standalone. Nothing to do with I, it. True. And, and that's, that's, what, that's the best part about it. Yeah. Easily. To be honest, to relate it back to Marvel, mm. I think I wouldn't mind them doing that sort of thing with like their smaller superheroes and no one gives a fuck about. Yeah, stand alone, do your stuff. You can bring it in for the big event things, but it <gasps> doesn't need to be part of it. You know what they need to do? Captain Britain. No. no oh, man, I'm definitely pi- not. I'm pitching the shit out of that. You know what they I'm writing that one. Oh, it would be so fucking you read good. Any, the so, you yeah. know, you know, into the Spider Verse. Yes. yes. That style, right? Okay. Stay with me. That style. Yeah. Static shock. Like a static shock. Oh my Which god, has no one ever seen Static Shock? No. God, guy, everybody on, <laughs> everybody on Radio <laughs> Haver, like, if you've, if you've seen Static Shock, can you please just email us? Yeah. So at I could, slap like, do, give you a big hug. At gmail.com. So good. Static Shock was or like just a send sh- it to Radio Haver. Static yeah. Shock was, like, it, it, was a t- it was a cartoon when I was growing up in, like, year 2000s, like, mid two, well, or maybe, like, early 2000s. And it was so Was so it underwater? Good. No, it was black <laughs> stuff. <laughs> That's the year 3000. No, Busted fan. Yeah. Christ. I fucking grew up on that. Was, anyway, uh... anyway, he was like the first, like he was 
I think the first black like superhero that I'd properly seen oh, cool. on okay. TV, and he had like electric powers, and it was so fucking cool. If they are. Um, Spider Verse was sick. Anyway, Sp- no, Spider Verse was amazing. Spider Verse was sick. Best of Stands alone. Movie last year. Oh no, no, that game came out last year. Yeah. I mean, it's no, definitely up there. Infinity War came out. I mean, it's fantastic. But yeah. easily the best film of this year so far. It was last. Came out last year. It came out this year in my in my heart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. I don't know, but yeah. When you watched it? <laughs> no, I saw it when it came out. Anyway. Yeah. Fucking sick. I don't even know what I was saying. Stack Shock. Make a Stack Shock film, and I think he is a Marvel hero. I'm not 100 percent sure on that. He's definitely a hero. I mean, Blade is. So. Blade's, Blade was the first. Yeah, Blade was the first, was Marvel, the first movie. Marvel movie. I mean, Blade 2 was Guillermo del Toro. Was oh, it? Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't know that. Does, oh yeah. Does Blade hang out with the Avengers? No. Uh, I don't know about the comics. Because then we can get Blade to come into Endgame, and Blade's the one that kills Thanos. What, because fucking no, Thanos no. is a vampire, and he's like, no. surprise, bitches! Exactly. Wait, we all know who's going to kill Thanos. Wolverine. No. And man up his ass. Oh. man up his ass. man up his ass. I love that that's come out and have you seen any of the press store that they're straight asking Paul Rudd hey what do you think about this theory and every time he just fucking breaks down into laughter and goes this is the dumbest thing that I've heard but it's, but it's not, brilliant but it makes sense it does, I mean if he can shrink down so small through the ear punch him in the brain dead yeah but if you blow why up his arsehole because it's comedy <laughs> and you blow up his up his nose then up it no like but saying that we also don't know the anatomy of Thanos does he have a butthole it could just be like smooth, like an action man. Oh, I was going to say Kendall, but yeah. I mean, what is he? <laughs> we have a very different shot. Smooth yeah. like a... <laughs> I thought he looked like a bionicle down there. <laughs> <laughs> so there's tons of holes, but oh, none of them go anywhere. God. I fucking love bionicle. <laughs> yeah, I bionicle. Oh, bionicle come to life and help the Avengers. Are they Marvel? No, they're Lego. <laughs> they're Lego. <laughs> what? Yeah. Not Duplo. Diplo? Duplo? Duplo's Lego though, isn't it? Yeah. No. Isn't it? No, it's like their competitor, isn't it? Oh, no, I thought no. it was like their... The, the, it's their baby version. Their baby version. Are you fucking joking? No, it's their yeah, R&D, version. isn't it? R&D. 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 Hey, anyway. Get them off of their air brake and get them fucking working. <laughs> Jesus. They don't deserve fresh air. That's not very nice. <laughs> well, R&D. Yeah, no. Get my taser. <laughs> Oh Taser my god, face. it is! So, did you heard Duplo that is it? Lego toys. <laughs> yeah, that's so horseshit. <laughs> For my whole life, I thought they were Lego's competitors. I think you're thinking Mega Blocks. Mega Blocks that is what you're thinking of. No. <laughs> uh, oh, George is currently so, reevaluating his life. I feel so life. cheated. <laughs> that's so horseshit. You know, what, I'm going to show you guys a picture of Static Shark. But anyway, carry on. Uh, yeah. yeah, but yeah, um, we're we just talking about. Ant Man going up. <laughs> yeah, so like, I mean, hearts. that's one. Do we really want to like discuss theories in this? Because like my one fear when discussing theories with people. Oh, cool. Static Shock's sick. Could Sorry. Like Sorry to interrupt. Like, does but it look cool? Shit. Yeah, I'm down with that. Like Silver shot. Surfer, but not shit. Oh, so Silver Surfer's badass actually, mm-hmm. but not in the, mm-hmm. not in the movie. Not in the um, movie. the one thing that I have like talked about theories with people is what if the end? What if they're right? right? Or yeah, what if you true. think of a theory? That's actually, watching the that's actually better, better than, than I, like, movie. I feel like that's not that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. It shouldn't be. It's also, it, honestly, like, also every, we can title it. Everybody, I mean, <laughs> sorry to bring this back to anime briefly. I, Luca, I can see you shaking your head. I'm sorry, <laughs> but there was a really like I remember when Naruto was coming out and oh. I was watching Naruto like all the time. Sorry, the fucking Naruto. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but there was a character called Toby, and Toby had a mask on, right? It, it, and everyone was like, "Who the fuck is Toby?" And there were so many different theories about who he could be, and like, you know, the one where it like, I'm gonna cover my ears because I'm start watching Naruto again. Oh, you haven't seen it? No. Do you want to? I'm not. I, I won't spoil only it. got. How early is this? This is like Shippuden. Like this is. After. Oh, that's that's ages away. Fine. Fuck it. All right. Toby turns out to be a very pivotal character. It's Kakashi. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna okay. spoil it for you. Fine, okay. <laughs> but it turns out to be, you know, this person, and everyone was like, "Oh Gala. shit! What if it's what if it's Toby Rama from way back when?" Which is one of the past. Oka- I'm getting really fucking nerdy here. I'm sorry, guys. That's fine, man. But like, it's just, and when it turned out to be literally everybody's first theory, everyone was like, "Oh, this is shit." But I was like, "No, this is how he intended it to be." Yeah. So this isn't an issue. Just because sure, we, sure. Uh, we, because we thought we took it on ourselves to think, what if it's this, 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 yeah. and this? We've disappointed ourselves for no reason because that's same, not how the story. It's ends. the same as with Star Wars last e- last week. Like, yeah, was like, oh no, raise this, raise that. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Mm. 
I, I the, the one thing that always comes to mind when it comes talks about theories, I think, okay, is okay. um the Batman Arkham Knight. When we talk about theories, because they like they released like the trailer for Arkham Knight, and they're like it's a brand new character, it's never been thing. We worked with DC about this. It ended up just being Red Hood, and people hey. went, "It's just Red Hood, right?" And they're like, "No, no, it's a completely new character." Again and again and again. So when I was playing that game, I was like, "It's re- it's done really well, mm-hmm. but it's basically Red Hood." Oh. But it's not. But it is. It's Red Hood, but he has a bit more military to it before you see him as Red Hood. Oh, that's that's is that's all it is. And it's like, I wish they had either said we're doing Red Hood or we're doing a new character and done a new character. What so the, the theory kind of like of everyone doing that and them saying no, and you're like, oh, but it feels like it, and it comes in. Yeah. It kind of, it kind of kind of ruins that shock. And that's that's the one kind of thing that I have when discussing yeah. like, theories. Don't get me wrong, I love I love talking about theories. Okay, well we're gonna do it about movies. It's just <laughs> sometimes I have a concern of like I yeah, hate we'll, to like be we'll right. It. Yeah, we're gonna do it anyway. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, let's, let's get our theory on. Okay, I'll go with the theory I don't want to be true. Go on. Is that they're gonna time travel? Ooh. If they time travel, I'm gonna be so pissed off. And they need the time stone for that, don't they? And uh, let's do the qu- quantum realm. Can you time travel? You can jump through time with Quantum Realm. Okay. So I'm, I, I, as far as I know. So I'm like. Did you get R and D on that one? Yeah. Yeah. No, they're they're enough now. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll ask them. I'll get I'll get the tase and prod them afterwards. <laughs> um, but like time travel is the most just fucking lackluster thing ever. Unless your movie is about time travel, don't do time travel. Like in Harry Potter. And she was like, oh, yeah. And then Hermione time traveled and went to all her classes. Yeah. Like in the no, scene. but within the context of that movie, it actually worked quite yeah, well. Yeah, okay, they did that really well. Yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> that was, yeah, that was so a really like, shit example. Well, uh, don't do it, but like, if you didn't do it, but don't do it like Harry Potter did it right. It's just like, on, it's like, oh, let's go back in time and stop Thanos ever snapping. And I'm like, I don't want that. I just I know, want they're you not going to do that. I just want you to fight Thanos one-on-one. I think that's what they have. Oh. I think- Fucking Captain yeah. Marvel and fuck him up. She's yeah, sick. I, I don't think they can do the time well. traveling thing because I think Better they not. they haven't really set that up within the I guess the um, lore of the MCU. In, they the, in the trailer, uh, like Black Widow has like completely different hair. Yeah, she every like, movie twice. She has different no, hair. but twice in the same trailer, she has like ginger redhead hair and also her blonde hair. So unless what did she, she have last movie? She had blonde. She had blonde hair in the Captain Marvel post credit scene. Spoilers, sorry. Cool, so maybe she just changes it in the movie. Like, they're going to war, that's her kind of prep. You know what? Um, I hope I hope there's not... I, I completely I'm agree with check. you. Like, there shouldn't be time travel. Mm. Yeah. But if there is time travel, it has to be, like, the film frequently asked questions about time travel. I don't know if any of you have seen that film. No. no. Fucking great. It's got Chris O'Dowd in it. It's like well, a proper, like, proper like, British yeah. comedy kind of thing. And um, I love it when... It's like, I don't know if it's paradoxical time where like, say, you know, when Marty McFly goes back in time, yeah, goes through the whole Hill Valley, 1855, whatever it was, like that will constantly keep happening. Yeah. That's kind of how it ends that film. It, that That is paradoxed in itself. That will c- continuously that happen. Forever happen. Yeah. In Frequently Asked Questions about time travel, even in the first scene, there are like, there are things that you're seeing and you think, oh, this is normal. And as you go through the film, you realize that they've gone back in time and they're doing things. That's and cool. So you see it from the very beginning because it's paradoxical. Yeah. It would be happening. It's just like, oh, it's so fucking interesting. What's so it called? Frequently asked questions about time travel. I think you can probably like buy it. I, like I downloaded it ages ago and I can't remember. I, where I'll have I a look for that. That sounds from. cool. It's really good. It's really like, it's just dumb and smart and it's like a comedy, but yeah. it's, it's So if they're going to do time travel, do it right. Yeah. Okay. I, I talked to Ivan D. Mm. And we had a very quick conversation because I didn't want to talk to them for too long. They, can't, they, can't yeah, they sm- suck. They kind of smell, I'll be honest. Yeah, they suck. They're strange. They have, yeah. they, I mean, we need to probably change their diapers. Yeah. Like that, but... Ooh, I mean, that's your job. I'm not, touch, I'm not touching that. Uh, so Quantum Realm isn't exactly time travel. It's kind of like time travel slash like dimension, like different parallel universes. Okay. So like, I'd be even more pissed off if they were like, oh yeah, let's go fuck off and get Black Panther from another fucking timeline. Time mm. Hey, uh, Chadwick, come on, bro. <laughs> I'm like, no. Just I, have no, image. in the other timeline, it's fucking Michael B. Jordan. Uh, the, okay, I, I'd be okay with that. Uh, Michael that B. Jordan's fucking charismatic shit. I like Michael B. Jordan. Or maybe they could, 
oh, maybe ooh, did he get snapped? Who? My, Michael B. Jordan. It, well, he's dead at the end of Black Panther. Oh my God! Oh, yeah, did he, he just did he just spoil that? Shit? Black Panther. Is he dead though? Did he just spoil that? Shit? Is he actually dead? Yes. We don't see them cremate him or like bury him. We see him die. He's dead. We, I mean, we also saw we um, saw Bucky die. We saw Bucky die. No, we saw him fall off a train. Yeah, he died. Yeah, he died. He died. He basically died. No, he fell into nothing. Who else yeah, did he we die. see? We saw Professor Xavier die. <laughs> Oh, he got vaporized, didn't he? Got they? vaporized. All right, we are not bringing the fucking X Men into this because they're all over the place. Oh, wait, wait, let's. X Men are easily the best. What if the X Men are in Endgame? I don't what think the deal went through. What if the Silver Surfer is in Endgame? True. Again, or, Fox. Or, hey, they're all or, Fox properties. Although, I don't they, think they went through. Doesn't fast Disney enough. own Fox now? Now, but, but not when they were yeah. filming. But although the Russos can very easily have just been like, we'll just we'll record this as well, and if it doesn't fit, no. fuck it. I want as a wait, post credit scene. Wait, I want what? Silver oh, Surfer yeah. coming by his post. No. What about, and what, then Galactus. I want Wolverine fucking behind what him. What about Adam Warlock? Oh yeah, he can turn up. But I think they need. Turn up. They need Guardians of like, Guardians of the Galaxy three so was them. gonna introduce that. Right. And I mean, your man's coming back for it, which has been great, pushed though for but... about like a year or two. Honestly. Yeah, because of the whole issues. Yeah. That's so dumb. But yeah. But I, I, nah, I, I don't think we got that because we got Captain Marvel. And that's, I think, going to be one of the big game changes is kind of like, you, fuck you had some powerful people, now you have the powerful person. Fucking scroll. I haven't seen that really. movie. It's good. good. I, 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 I wouldn't put it as like my favorite one up there, but it's it's a great movie. I would put it above Ant Man two easily, yeah. But I I put it on par with uh uh what's his face the mustache boy, Doctor Strange. Oh, I'd say it's a bit better than that Strange. I enjoyed yeah. it a bit more. You know, it I had a cool like, buddy cop. I, yeah, I want you guys to change my mind on this. Okay, mm. but I don't think you will. Bring it. Oh, is it going to be that meme? Change my mind. <laughs> no, so there's the picture. I'm, I'm kind <laughs> of like, that I'm a bit space. annoyed and a bit conflicted mm -hmm. that I feel like Captain Marvel has uh, ruined it. Go on, how so? In a sense that, do I bring it back to anime again? Do it. Um, we need it. We need well, I mean, at this point. I need think to our explain. listeners, if they're coming back in time and time again, they're used to it. Your anime, yeah, board, okay. so just go for it. So. Right, okay. In in Bleach. <laughs> in the anime oh, Bleach. I have only watched the Rescue Rookie arc. Okay. <laughs> what, you mean every arc is that arc? Yeah. The... Right. <laughs> go, so, go on, it doesn't matter if you spoil it. So, um, okay, there's a character in the manga who turns out to be the villain at the end. Okay. It's not Aizen, it's... Um, I, I never know how to say his name, but I think it's like a German kind of sounding name. Okay. Um... There's a point in the manga where, like, Captain Yamamoto kills him. Okay. And you're like, oh, sick. But then in the next chapter, they're like, did you know that he had a twin brother? Oh. And you're like, are you fucking serious? Snap. Are you fucking serious? Right, so you think it's like... I don't want the, I don't want Captain Marvel to be pulled out of someone's ass to defeat the main villain. Yeah. Right. That, that's going to really annoy me. The only way I would be okay with that is if they uh, established Captain Marvel... At the same time they established Thanos. That would be the only way I'd be okay with it. Because in... you're building up the villain. Why are you going to have the hero come out of nowhere? And no, I, so I don't think it's going to be like just Captain Marvel versus Thanos. No, punch, punch, yeah. she wins. I don't think it's going to be She won't like be that. Superman, basically. Okay. No. Just like that would really like, fuck like She has powers, but I mean, Kevin Feige's already come out and said there she has problems. She has limitations. She has Achilles heels. It's not like she's unstoppable. Like In the movie... Like the whole thing is kind of like her unlocking her unlocking power. her powers. So okay. I think this will be kind of like she'll probably show it off, and Thanos will be like, "God damn!" But then fucking stone, use one of the stones. Can he use them it. still? Like that's another thing, isn't it? Because like the gloves being fucked up. But yeah. I mean, in theory, he can use them individually because he's strong enough to like hold them and do it. Do you think he's gonna make a? Do you think he's gonna make a girlfriend, like in comics? No, his girlfriend uh. was deaf. Oh, no, his love interest was dead. Don't you guys know the original uh, Infin the Infinity girlfriend. War? Basically. I know the reasoning behind oh, it. All right. Let's go. Let's throw back time. He, <laughs> he, uh, he's, he's killing everyone because he wants to impress his girlfriend, Death. No. It was his love interest, Death. Love interest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, which I think apparently was going to be the original thing they were going to do in the Avengers. 
that was going to be the original storyline they were going after. I'd much prefer what they've done with this. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. Way it's better. It's a way better story. Um, and then he gets the glove, and Death's like, oh, I mean, it's a bit of a dick move, to be honest, bro. And it's like, all right, bitch. And he makes, like, Damn. he makes a female version of himself. Sully enjoyed saying that. Yeah. Wow. He made a female version of himself. <laughs> and, like, they were, like, oh, fucking and shit. Right. And then um, she was, like, nuts. And then Gamora turns up. And not Gamora, the other one. Um, Nebula. Nebula turns up. Then she steals the gauntlet. Then she becomes super powerful and undoes what everything Thanos does. But, I mean, we got a... It, this is comic book. Oh, yeah. And I, I love comic books, but they are fucking dumb sometimes. And then Thanos teams up with the Avengers to beat Nebula. Great. Oh, and also he first turns up in the Thanos copter. <laughs> this, is, this is my problem oh with my some God. of Marvel's old comic books, <laughs> is like that kind of shit. Thanos copter, go! <laughs> well, that's not going to happen in this movie, so we're oh, good. Oh, I hope they introduce the Thanos copter. Oh, fuck no. Because they, <laughs> the few like <laughs> bits of imagery that we've seen in like... So they dropped a trailer when they announced that you could get the tickets. It was like a special... Oh, really? Yeah. So it's like, it's not like a full blown trailer, but it shows off a bit more. And there's a few very, very cool looking shots. There's one, it's only on screen for probably two seconds at this point, where it's the main three Avengers. It's what Iron Man, Captain America, and Thor. And you just see them from like their feet. And it's like a nice wide shot. And they're walking in. And then behind this debris, you see fucking Thanos sitting there in his armor with this kind of thing looking contemplative in the background. And it's like, that looks like some shit is about to kick da, the fuck da, off. And it, it was like that kind of one shot. It's it's very rare, like the style they did it in, because it was like slow motion, which they barely use in the yeah. movies. And it, is, it had this kind of importance to it. Mm. And there's a, there's a few key things like that. Like he's armored up now, which yeah. makes me feel like, I guess it puts the impression away that he feels more vulnerable, so he has to armor True. up. Where before, as he was getting them, he oh, was yeah. less and less armor because he knew yeah. he was powerful. So okay. he was a bald boy. So maybe now he's in kind of he's a bald boy. Bald boy. Oh, slap it! Wow. Slap yeah. it! Oh god, that was a thing from high school. <laughs> Thor does the term. Oh, god, <laughs> slap it! Yeah. Um. But it it shows him off. I guess is vulnerable. Like he, ha- we know he still has the stones, but yeah. maybe he can't use them. Otherwise, he wouldn't need to fucking suit True. up. And also, if he's not suited up, then it's just fucking. But if he doesn't have the power of the stones, then it's just just a a, a normal. Oh, let's fight Thanos. No, but mm. he he obviously will have some sort of power of the stones because yeah. he's one of the few beings that can actually hold a stone and control a stone. I mean, so can Star Lord. So let's be honest. No, Star Lord could hold it for a brief period with True. everyone else connected to him. Yeah, but so can. And that was only because he was part. We're getting into it now, aren't we? But that was only because he was part celestial. But when he killed oh, his yeah, dad, he's, he's no, no longer, longer part, part celestial. celestial. Also, he's dead. Well, dusted. Oh yeah, Star Lord got snapped, didn't he? Yeah. But that's Wrecked. sort of like no Wrecked. one can really harness these. Rocket. <laughs> oh god damn! Little raccoons just going. All right, give me the power stone. Trash but... panda. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's. It, I'm I'm excited to see kind of how he's because I mean the end shot of. Endgame was him sitting on the farm, like the McConnell, just invented, smiling. Invented, yeah. and it's like, ah, I've done my shit now. And like, well. What crops ooh. do you think he grows on that farm? Some weird type of corn. Weed. Yeah, he probably smokes corn. Weed. Weed. He, I think he, he smokes he's... the crops. He smokes the corn. Like corn on the cob. Yeah, he like hollows out the cob, <laughs> smokes through it. <laughs> So and it pops off. He's smoking. <laughs> it's so and like corn kind of like inhales into it and like becomes. He dusts the <laughs> and clicks. Oh my <sighs> god. Um, okay, let's so let. Uh, okay, let's do a. I don't like a. Who do we think is gonna die? Oh. Ah, oh, Iron Man. Easily. Iron. I feel Iron Easily. Man and possibly Captain America almost have to die. I don't think Thor will because. With the new film, it's kind of everyone. F- film. No, with them um, Ragnarok. Oh yeah, everyone's everyone Ragnarok. kind of Don't everyone loves him to the point of like if they got rid of Thor. Yeah, I feel like they're they're gonna do more like but that. The, they have to. But, but that's usually like that's usually how. I mean, that's if Whedon was still in doing it. Fuck yeah, Thor would be dead because he loved to kill off characters that people loved. Mm. But that's the best way to do it. True, uh, makes it memorable. It would just give the guy a little dumb Whedon thing. Like so in Buffy. I think More it was like C. Yeah, I'm going back to it. Oh, um, see, when he goes into Buffy, it's fine. But when I go back into Bleach, everyone's like, oh. <laughs> fine, let me just go back into wrestling then. I do it once an episode, goddammit, George. 
Um, but yeah, so like in Buffy, there was a cat called Tara and it was Willow's girlfriend. I think okay. they met in like season four and she became a regular character, but never featured in the opening credits. Peak. Mm. Until the end, I think the second to last episode, I think it is, of season six. She dies the next one. The first time she is featured in the in like the opening credits as like a name thing. Yeah, she dies in the episode. What a cunt! Wrecked. <laughs> and that is a very Whedon thing to do. Of <laughs> like, <laughs> like he would just kind of like, oh, you love this character. Oh look, ah, fuck you, dead. I, he did it in um. <laughs> gotta get dead. You gotta, you gotta kill. He your did babies. it in Firefly. He fucking killed off Wash, which I'm still not. And oh then God, the show got killed off by show. the network. Oh my God. Oh, bitch. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that hurts, Sonny. It still hurts. Oh, the pain. Oh, God, um, I love that show so much. I... Shrek. But yeah, sorry. So I think if Whedon was still doing it, fuck yeah, Thor would be dead. But, but he's no longer doing it. It's Rousseau's and I feel like... I don't think Thor's dead, but I think... I mean, don't get me wrong. I think the original three might... They they could all die. No one's fucking no, safe. No, 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 no. But There's no I, way... I don't Hawk think Thor's going to die. Captain America might die, but pass on his title. Yeah, I think yeah. he's either give it to Bucky or Falcon. I think I'd prefer if he gave it to Falcon because so it'd I. be cool to have a black Captain I America. Falcon. I mean, cool. And the, I mean, annoyingly, they called what was it? I should know. What was his name in White Comics? There was a there was like a there was basically like a Captain America kind of esque runaway character who was like a young black guy who was basically Captain America but not quite oh, Captain cool. America. Rhodey. No, I don't know who it was. Sorry. But yeah, I can't remember what it was. But like, it'd be cool to, like, to pass it along to him. I, yeah. I would like that. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I like I like the Winter Soldier being the Winter Soldier. I don't want yeah. him to not. I mean, he's obviously not the Winter Soldier anymore, and he's again dusted. Bucky, but... yeah. Dusty, dusted, dusted. Did uh, what they called it Falcon anyway. got dusted as well, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, because Don Cheadle was looking for him. Yeah, and that's sort of things. It's basically like Don all Cheadle. the, I guess, pre <laughs> Avengers. Is it every pre Avenger Avenger is pretty much dead except for like a couple like Ant Man and the what's... core the core group are fine. Core group yeah. are all fine. Ant Man's there. Do we think Hawkeye is safe? No, Hawkeye's gonna die. I mean, I think they... sorry, Ronin. Mm. He's Ronin in this now. What Hawkeye? So it's like in the comic books, Hawkeye he go, he, kind he, of he goes goes a bit goes darker, a, yeah. and he calls himself Ronin, he a and he has like a sword fade. and fucking kills. And he's badass. I mean, it's so there's a one shot Why? in the new trailer. It's the sleeve, and it's all like Japanese kind of tattoos down him. Fucking looks awesome. He's got this big mo- mohawk. So, uh, so oh, have, I love it. Have so you much. seen Born Legacy? It's like that, no, but not. not at all. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. I no. I think he's gonna die because I think they they're planning on doing a series with yeah, like with rumor that his with daughter baby Cor- Hawkeye. Yeah, which I mean, I'm down for that. Maybe he cool. won't die. Maybe he'll train her and then yeah. But that's what that we might get a few shots of that in this movie. Yeah, him that'd be cool. Training someone up. And maybe mm. maybe that's all that, yeah. I don't see. I would prefer if as many of the OGs died, because oh, if you're gotta... you're setting up phase right. four, right? And apparently this phase is meant to be like completely everything's new. It's different, apart from so, the like the little the movies that are still trailing on like. Galaxy. Guns of the Galaxy yeah. and yeah. Spider Man's technically Phase Four. Yeah, no, Spider Man is Phase Four. Yeah, but they said they're not going to announce anything past Spider Man. Yeah, until but, this until is done. after Endgame. Mm. But like, I just if we're gonna get rid of the old guys, not like fucking kill them all at yeah. once, but just be like, st- it's I don't want it to be like Scrubs. Right, you don't want them to all come back in the new series yeah. and it's like be and, kind of a weird hybrid. Yeah. Right, I mean, I I'm I kind of want Good Black me, yes. Widow to survive. Because oh, yeah, I think she deserves be awesome. a movie. Yeah, and also I think she'd be awesome kind of leading the next Avengers. as Like like they tried to do at the end of uh, Age of Ultron. What? At the end of Age of Ultron, she like... Um... Captain America was still there, man. Yeah, I know, but she was kind of like... Well, he's psychic. Second in but it kind of feels like she's his psychic. Yeah. Or like, not psychic, but like partner in crime or in, in justice. They definitely banged him with the soldier. Nah. How about the Hulk again? You'd, it, you'd bang the Winter Soldier. No, I would, but I think we all probably. They would. definitely like cut like oh maybe we'll. Bang. Do you reckon they did bump uglies like a little bit? I might. Have, like, no. Do you no, want to touch my metal arm? He was going with Peggy's like fucking granddaughter. No, right? that was in the next one, wasn't it? Oh, that was they were in... flirting in that one, and then the next one they like. Oh yeah. Got they... And then after Peggy's funeral. Yeah. <laughs> he <laughs> takes his time, doesn't he? <laughs> fucking he waits for his old one to die before he gets with a new before one. Before he borrows <laughs> friction from a stranger. <laughs> But, but he's keeping it in the family, so it's all good. It's, oh, crap. Fuck, it's, yeah, it's a bit weird. 
But I do love that little moment where like you got Falcon and Winter Soldier in the car and he turns around and they're like, what's up, bro? Yeah, that's what you're getting there. <laughs> it's Lol. such a good little bit. So I like, um, I like when Falcon says to uh, the Black Panther, so you like cats? <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was funny. Oh god. Oh man. Uh, um. Yeah. So I I am very excited for all that kind of stuff. Do we think? Do we? We've talked about our favorite movies. We've talked about the ideas for well, our theories for on Endgame. Endgame. Who's our favorite Avenger. Yeah. Who is our favorite Avenger? Like, is it is it Thor for you? Yep, absolutely. Yeah. 100% hands down. I mean, you, you like Norse mythology, so that's definitely True. a leaning for that's you. That's my shit, boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was he always your favourite Avenger? Uh-huh. Uh, even, yep. even in, like, the first Thor movie? Yep. Really? Yep. Damn. Yeah, absolutely. He likes Thor. Straight he likes, off. He likes his... Straight his off. Oh. I love Thor, man. He's just sick. No, I mean... He's such, like... I mean, in Norse mythology, he's, he's like, he's a cocky asshole. Yeah. And in this... Bit of an asshole. Too. He starts out as True. a cocky asshole. Yeah, he so. still kind of is. <laughs> yeah. I just love it. I like, even like, was it the first Avengers film where like they, it was Thor, Captain America, and Iron Man versus. Yeah. yeah. And like he slams Mjolnir onto, onto the hammer, onto, oh, the, onto, the, onto the, the shield. shield. Yeah. I like, right, that's fucking sick. I fucking love that shit. No, I mean, my favorite yeah. little bit from that, that, that was cool. Shit. But it's when um, well, Iron Man was stay, like, standing there. And he fucking like shoots with the lightning. I mean, it's like it all burnt up, and then it kind of Charges stops him. Yeah, and it's like oh, cool. power at four hundred percent. He's like, huh? Cool. <laughs> and that, those little bits of that entire like, little section was fantastic. And his entrance of like they're like flying Loki somewhere. Yeah. He just fucking like, flies on the ship, pulls him out, and it's like, um, what? <laughs> <laughs> I just look like every time it's like if it's uh, somebody raised a really great point, and it was that like people enjoy the the spectacle of like a Marvel film. Yeah. But they enjoy more so the quiet moments when, yeah. like, you know, when they're all around like that dinner table and like laughing and joking and all that sort of stuff. Oh, my favorite part is so is actually from like um, Age of Ultron where his fucking hammers on the table. They're all trying to yeah. lift it. Yeah, it's such a good moment. That, I want more honestly, of those. Uh, Just that, let them hanging out. Literally, what I was about to say. Yeah, other than that, it's like boss. Thor's reaction when Captain America shifts it a Just little bit. Just a little bit. It's like, like oh, oh fuck. And the end of the movie where they're all walking and they're like. Oh, but it doesn't count when Vision did it because he's he's basically a time stone. Yeah, it's it, like, yeah, if you put it in an elevator yeah, yeah. and the elevator goes up, <laughs> is it lifting that? Yeah. <laughs> those little bits, those are fantastic. Yeah, I mean, they're really those good. those are very Joss Whedon things to throw in there. Yeah. He does that with the dialogue. That's how he writes. Um, I would love more of those sort of moments. Um, yeah. Me Speaking too. of Thor, I don't know. There's like a scene that's in my head, but I don't know if they did it in the things, or I'm just imagining it. Is there a part where Thor puts his hammer on top of someone so they can't move? Yeah, yes. so he puts it on top of the Hulk, doesn't he? Oh, is it the Hulk? Oh, and he also does it on top of Loki. Okay, because I'm thinking, I can see him putting a hammer down on someone. No, he doesn't. Put I don't it, know sorry, who... he doesn't put it on top of the Hulk. Hulk tries to lift it up and he can't, and it's oh, that yeah. whole thing. But yeah, he puts it on top of Loki. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like wouldn't that just like d- just destroy Loki's chest? I like, don't know. Straight like, through well, it. Loki's like, uh, I can't like, do anything because it's like there. Because I don't think it's it's not heavy. It's just you can't lift it. I think it weighs the same as whatever a normal hammer of that size would weigh. It's just you can't move you it. You just can't move it. Not unless you're worthy. Unless yeah. you're worthy. So yeah. it's the sort of like thing, I guess Natalie it's just Portman. Like it's stuck there. So you can't move. <laughs> Fucking Natalie Portman. I mean, I, I did give the um, series a go, the the comic series when like, the female Thor came yeah. in. And that, that was such a pretty She's banging Thor. Falcon, isn't she? I don't. I didn't know that much. I, I gave it a go. I didn't. Like, I she's banging. She's banging. She's banging for that I absolutely comics. love. Like, I mean, I wish I read more Thor comics to be honest. But I love the whole struggle of him being like, "Is it me? Is it the hammer? Am I the hammer? Um, mm. Am I this? Am I worthy?" And all that. I, I, I oh. fucking love that. Like, I mean, that was Ragnarok, internal struggle. It? It's True. so good. Yeah, that was Ragnarok. Like the fucking hammer's gone, and he's kind of like, like "What am I you, without it?" Yeah, are you the god of hammers? Yeah, like, <laughs> that's fuck, a great line. That's a great line. <laughs> yeah, and it's so true. It's like, oh, it's just so cool. It's I just love that avenue that they explore with Thor. Hmm. That's why he's my favorite. And you know, Chris Hemsworth does a pretty good job. I think oh, he's a fucking big lad. As oh, well. he's an Adonis of a man. John, fucking, he's fucking mm. most attractive event. Well, it's like he he's the kind of man that you like. Why can't I be you? What's wrong with him? Like he is, he is funny. He is handsome. He is Jacks. He seems like an absolutely lovely man. What he can act, 
easily. What's wrong with him? Like, there's mm. got, they, there's got to be something. Something's wrong with him. His brother is Liam Hemsworth. Yeah, like he's got a tiny penis or something. I don't even think that's no, true. I no, think, I bet he's hung. Like I a, think it's. I bet fucking, his hammer is smaller than his dong. I think it's huge. Yeah. I oh bet you fucking God. slice his word. Let's ask him. It. Let's at him. Slice his widow. Yeah, word is like his fucking axe. Oh, oh okay. my God. Yeah. I mean, okay. What yeah. has what is this devolved? He is Australian. I don't know. He's not he... actually thought. Might as well be. Yeah. I mean, Might yeah. as well be. <laughs> but <laughs> fucking he's great. Girls. Yeah. Yeah. I do. I appreciate him a lot. All right, Sally. Who's your favorite Avenger? Okay, I'm not gonna say Spider Man because Spider Man's my favorite superhero. And he's he's like been an Avenger for half a movie, yeah. technically. Mm. Um, you know what? But if you right. if you say all of them, I'm gonna hit. No, nah, it's not all of them, <laughs> but like, there's none of them that really like super stand out to me as the Avengers. So there's no character in the entire MCU that you're like, mm, that's my favorite. I mean, yeah, in the MCU. That's what. All right, that's what I mean. Like, we, whoever was in Infinity War. Damn, I can't say Michael P. Jordan. Um, <laughs> also a villain, but all right. Yeah, but he's sick. He was sick. Um, Still, all right, fine. Fuck it. I'm gonna go with Spider Man. Spider Man. Yeah, you can't top Spider Man. There is something about Spider. I, I grew he's... up reading Spider Man. Yeah, exactly. And he's just a quirky. He's lad. easily the best. He's relatable because everyone goes through that period yeah. of the time where they're fucking awkward. And yeah. I think the the most recent interpretation of Spider Man is probably the best. Although he's a dumb shit. Is he? Okay. But it's but it's cool. No, he's he's not dumb. He's just ig- not ignorant. He's just he's just a kid. Yeah, he's, he's too kid. green behind the ears. He's like yeah. he's overly optimistic yeah. and trusting. Yeah, to a to to a fault. Yeah, I, I, there's I, something about that. that I you, can't not love Spider Man. Like he, he's very endearing as a character. Yeah, that's he's brilliant. That's it. He's fucking. He's the one. Yeah, and he's gonna get with Zendaya in the new movie. Mm. You mean Mary Jane? Mary Jane. MJ. I didn't mind that. I was fine I with that. that. Everyone was like, "Oh, Zendaya, Mary Jane." Oh. I'm like fuck off! I didn't give a fuck about fucking that. Fucking go back to your mum's basement. You no, it was sort of thing like <laughs> when when at the end of the movie she's like, "Oh, my friend just called me MJ." That was like it was a nice reveal, but it was also a bit like, oh, okay. yeah, it was it was a bit like, but it was on the I, nose. Yeah, it was. That's what I mean. It made me groan, but not because I didn't like it. It's just the way that yeah. it was put across. It's yeah. like, oh, that feels a bit lazy. Zendaya's but, fucking chunk full of charisma. She's great. I mean, she's she was great. fantastic in the movie, and I'm really looking forward to Far From Home. Zendaya, can you be on this podcast as well? Like Zendaya, we got, please. We got John Biega last week. So <laughs> <laughs> we our phone is agent. He's yeah. we're sorting it out. It's gonna be part of the press uh, tour for Star Wars. Yeah. I mean, oh so if you Lord. want this to be part of the press tour for Home Camp um Far from, uh, far home. from home, let's do it. You know, hit us up. Oh my What's God. Cool? <laughs> I mean, bring bring the rest of the cast as you well. You can bring uh, Bring I'm, Spidey with you. Yeah, but she's like, she's got the most charisma. She's like the best. But also, I mean, but Spidey's I reckon, English. So he's he is English. I would love to like him. have a pint with Tom Holland. Yeah, yeah. I think that would be a laugh. He seems but like then, he laugh, tell, he? then he tells yeah. us all the spoilers. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they haven't told him in the fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> have they done that for like everyone though? They Pretty told much. everyone different endings. No, or they just, they apparently, they only gave characters their pages. Oh, okay, makes sense. Yeah. So they they know the lines that they're saying and sometimes who they're saying it to. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I'm sure like if you talk to a big CG person, you're saying like monologue, you can kind of fucking figure it out. But yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. They also, That's kind of what they There's something saying. extra for Tom Holland as well. Oh, yeah. They, 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 I think they only gave him his lines. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> but only like... I think that's, it was. I think it was like on the day they gave him his lines. Fucking, that sucks. Something that's ridiculous because so like we're not telling Tom shit because he can't keep his mouth shut. So that's funny. so good. I mean, Tom, I love you for that. Yeah, Legit, so do I. Like, so you made me laugh. Fucking amazing. And like even in real life, he feels like if there was anyone going to be Spider Man, he's fucking brilliant. He's doing like backflips all over the I place. I just love that he's like. The coolest thing about Tom Holland is that I, I genuinely feel that excitement from him. Yeah. yeah. That he loves the things that he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. And like, you know, when, when I get excited about shit, I can't stop talking about yeah. it. Yeah. Mm. So I just, you know, I'm, I appreciate he's the that. the same, yeah. yeah. I'm most looking forward to when he's like older and like if he's like fucking jacked to shit and he can do like, like a sort of, what's his face? Who's, who's Spider Man? Who's Superman? Henry, Henry Cavill, Cavill type oh, roles as well. I love him. <laughs> I don't, uh, if, I don't Henry, know if he, I don't know please. if he can get as big as Henry Cavill. Can you come back nice. from Budapest? He's way shorter. Yeah, but still, I mean, but also he doesn't need to be. I mean, yeah. he, he is what he is. I mean, there is that the Uncharted movie that he's going to be doing. Oh, still in is pre-production. He, is he going to be? He's young Nathan Drake. Yeah, though, so they're doing he? like a young Nathan Drake movie where he's Nathan Drake, and nice. like, I mean, he's they could 
if the movies are great, they can continue doing them yeah. as he grows up through and it. And I mean, in Uncharted Four, you see young Nathan Drake. You so. do. Well, I think Four. he's going to be slightly Three. older than. Um, he's going to be like yeah. I think Uncharted Three level Nathan Drake, where he's like oh. jumping on the rooftops, not like young. Kind he's of. not a kid. Uncharted he's not a kid, Three. but he's he's like a he's like eighteen, yeah, seventeen. Yeah, okay, so he's That'd like cool. independent kind of thing. Yeah. I hope they follow the story of the actual games because Uncharted games, the story actually was the story, story was cheesy as shit, but it was good. I mean, Uncharted Four is still one of my favorite fucking oh, video so game stories. Fucking cool. Oh, the the so scene good. where they're sitting around when um Nate and um Elena are sitting around that kind of table of dead. Yeah. Oh. Every always, time I can, yeah, I can very vividly remember that. And you just like that. That was the moment. Where I was like, holy shit, these guys are brilliant because you could see like. The light in her eyes, kind of realizing why she fell in love with the guy. Yeah. There was no dialogue there for her saying that. You could just see it, and like the, the way they animated her, I should just make me right. Cry. So good. You know, all of Naughty Dog stuff is hand animated as well. Really? Yeah. Wow. Wait. They do motion capture, but then it's all keyframed in. Jesus, yeah. I'm which like. is fucking hard work. But they have they have the best. So fucking yeah. sick, boy. So you are. But yeah, back to Marvel. Yeah, I'm excited. Bottom line, I mean, I'm fucking jazzed for this film, mm. and then. I'm gonna call it quits. Oh, you're, you're yeah, gonna do you that. Yeah, you said this before. You're calling you're it quits. And like, as soon as what Endgame's if they done, Static Shock. <laughs> then I, if it only is in the style of Spider Verse, then I'm gonna see it. <laughs> but, but like, so we talked about this before. Now that they've got Fox, what if at the end of Endgame you, you just, see Wolverine? You, Wolverine, like, something like that, or it's like the new threat on the horizon is fucking Silver Surfer and Galactus. I'm not fussed, man. Really not? I'm not really? fussed. Like, Fuck, that would get me so hyped. I've been so, like, I've been hyped for the past 10 years. Yeah, true. 10 years. 10 years of hype. Ten ten years is it taking its toll on you? For this film. I'm like, I'm I'm excited for this film. Mm. I want to see how this whole arc ends. Yeah. yeah. And then, done. You're done. You're I, calling it quits. Calling it back to anime again. Sorry. Go for it. But as soon as Naruto ended, I was like, sick. Pull my ship in. Done. No, that's what I mean. Oh, so but Shippuden not, ended. No Boruto. Done. I was like, I don't care about Boruto. Yeah. I don't care. And like to this day, I still don't care that yeah. much. Fair enough. Because Naruto ended. Yeah. You got what you wanted from I it. I got what I wanted. Yeah, you got what you that's wanted. That's done. Yeah, true. That's done. See, I think I'm going to do the same with Game of Thrones. Oh my God, it we're goes out. The nut oh, don't worry, we're not going to oh. spoil any Game of Thrones oh. spoilers. Oh. It's fine. Oh, we, we can't. We're not going to spoil any Game of Thrones spoilers. It, like, the first episode was on last week, but we can't. Was we it? don't know. Yeah. Yes. I missed it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Shit. No. That was a nice save. I thought that was the <laughs> I, But like, we haven't seen like the end, so, but we're not going to spoil anything anyway. Um, but there are like rumors, or not even rumors, they're putting it into a pilot now um, that they're doing like a prequel season they're doing, series. They're doing several. Yeah, they're doing a bunch. Well, Game of Thrones. Yeah. yeah. And for me, it's like, I think once Game of Thrones is done, I'm done. Yeah. I don't need the prequel series. I don't. It's a bit like when but, they did Fear the Walking Dead. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the Walking Dead, but I didn't even give Fear the Walking Dead a chance. What about how did the Night King become the Night King? I don't need that. And what I about... actually do. I'm not going to lie. Well, they're, really? they're, they're, they <laughs> kind yeah. of tell you a little bit how he became the Night King. Well, it's the, yeah. The, the, I, I, get, yeah. I get all that. Something. But I feel like Game of Thrones is different for me. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, how? Because. Well, okay, for the Avengers and like Marvel films, that's been like a huge portion of my life. Mm. That's when you know, growing up and watching Iron Man and, yeah. and that sort of stuff. I was still so fucking I was weird. still a kid, essentially. Yeah. But now I think I'm an adult watching Game of Thrones, which is very adult orientated. Yeah. Mm. And there's so much stuff in that mm. show. There's so much like lore and history. Yeah. In it, that I'm I'm been. super jazzed to see a, uh, you know, Robert Baratheon and Eddard Stark taking on King's Landing. Yeah. Like to I, usurp the Mad King, like that whole first war. I I'd fucking love to see that. I, I guess that'd be sick. I guess it's sort of that's understandable because your love for Tolkien stuff. Yeah, it's kind mm. of like one for one almost. Yeah, my, my, the, the, Tolkien's better. The the one thing <laughs> <laughs> had to do it. Uh, the one thing for me when it comes to prequels is. You know how it ends. You know how it ends. Yeah, I. They, 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 no the matter same. how much tension they put into it, you know certain characters have to get to this point, yeah. so they will be fine. They might go through hardships and oh, how they're going to get out of this? But you know, Plot they get out of armor. something. Yeah. Is Captain Marvel going to survive her own movie? Ah, uh, I don't know. Well, it's like <laughs> that, that's the one thing about them already announcing Far From Home. Yeah, it's like you know, Spider Man's going to be fine. Spider Man going to be okay? And unless it's. 
And but it's not. It's not. Um, <laughs> how do how do we know? <laughs> True. Yeah. Did Tom Holland say something? Probably. probably. <laughs> um, but I mean, that's why I'm happy they have not announced any other movies. Like you know, they're going to make more movies. Gambit. <laughs> Oh, Give me Gambit. That would, Finally. Okay. That would be sick. <laughs> I mean, if that thing ever gets out of development hell, go for it. But that's been Gambit. on the cards for so <laughs> long. You know what? On oh. the cards. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I would be happy with? I would I'd like Gambit. I'd be Deadpool. happy with anything that's standalone. Yeah, same. Oh, that makes sense. Um standalone, down for some standalone stuff. Unlike the Slapdog podcast, which is not a standalone podcast because we make these every week and they come out every Tuesday on Radio Havo 8 p.m. GMT. You can also find us on SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes, Acast, Stitcher, basically everywhere else you can find good podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to go jump in Dallas's butthole. I mean, whoa. The R&D team. Yeah. Yeah. That is <laughs> Huh? Mm. What? Mm. What? Me? Yeah. But do I say bye? Oh yeah, you intro. Yeah, he said. Oh, thank you, thank you <laughs> for watch sh- listening <laughs> to the slap 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 slap, slap duke Spank-dug. slap duke. Yeah, it's duke? like it's like in China. podcast. Like duku. I've been. Can't what's my name? G man. James. Targaryen. Filibuster. I've been James Filibuster Targaryen. G man. <laughs> Uh, do you got? Do I? I'm gonna I've just, 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 just. Okay. Just, done. We're done. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Just. <laughs> Bye.